Hey, this is Teddy Atlas. You are watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Keep watching. Otherwise, you know. This is Dante Williams. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I remember Michael Jackson. He had, I think it was his 25th anniversary uh, special on TV, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And I remember the networks, they were trying to force Michael Jackson to include NSYNC into the act, right? They wanted NSYNC to just come in and do a little cameo and sing, help sing one of the Jackson 5 songs. And Michael Jackson, he strongly opposed it. He didn't want to do it. Matter of fact, he threatened that he wouldn't even do it. But eventually, people kept talking to Michael, and he decided, whatever, I'll go ahead and do it, right? Obviously, the networks, they wanted it to look like Michael Jackson was passing the torch to NSYNC, right? They were hoping that some of that Michael Jackson magic dust would rub off on NSYNC. Now, NSYNC had a lot of success, but we all know they never became Michael Jackson status. But they did have more success than the average artist. Now, we know that NSYNC, for a good minute, they were hot. And then, like lightning, they were gone. Someone like Michael Jackson, he was hot at age seven. And he didn't slow down to his 40s. Okay, so he was hot for quite some time. Canelo is the modern day in sync of boxing. Backstreet Boys of boxing. Boxing promoters and Canelo Alvarez fans, they were hoping that that Floyd Mayweather magic dust would rub off on Canelo Alvarez and the torch would be passed on to Canelo Alvarez. But it hasn't quite happened yet, because not only has Canelo failed to receive Mayweather star power, but he hasn't even received NSYNC star power quite yet, okay? Or at least not in America. He's definitely the NSYNC of Mexico, no doubt about that. Now, we all know that Floyd Mayweather like Michael Jackson, has been hot for about 18 years. The question is, how long will the fire continue to burn for Canelo Alvarez? Do you guys see Canelo Alvarez as being pound for pound, top three, top five, the best fighter in the world five, ten years from now? Do you guys see that? Do you guys see Canelo Alvarez going undefeated in the next five years? Do you think he'll get knocked out in the next five years, the next two years? What do you guys think? Well, let me go ahead and get into the actual topic of this video. Canelo Alvarez, he actually sparred with Gennady Golovkin. Okay, he sparred with Gennady Golovkin and when asked what he thought about sparring with Golovkin, the only thing he really talked about was Triple G's power. He kept saying over and over again, the guy is very strong. No, this guy is very, very, very strong in the words of Canelo Alvarez. And then he goes on to say, if I have to fight him, I will fight him. Now, see, this is my whole thing. First of all, how many champions, great fighters, do you hear saying, well, you know, if I have to fight him, I'll fight him. That's like saying, if push comes to shove, if y'all going to put a gun to my head and say, get your ass in the ring, oh, yeah, I'll fight him. Of course you will. Of course you will. Now, I want you guys to understand this. I'm not jumping on Canelo for not wanting to fight Golovkin, okay? I'm not jumping on him for that. I know that Canelo wants the Cotto fight, and I like that fight. I like that fight a lot. But what I thought was really interesting is after you hear Canelo saying, 
that he's really not interested in Golovkin right now. And the guy hits very, very hard. If I have to fight him, y'all going to make me fight him. And maybe I might fight him. So on and so forth. What I found interesting about him saying all of this is I scrolled down and I just browsed through the comments. And I've seen these comments before, but this just reminded me that I needed to talk about this. I scroll down, I read the comments, and all of the comments say the same thing. Well, what I like about Canelo is at least he's not ducking anyone. At least he's not ducking or dodging anyone. He's willing to fight anybody. Remember, he fought Lara, right? And I remember before that when Canelo fought Austin Trout. People were saying the same thing, pretty similar, you know. Well, look, Canelo, he's not afraid. Look, he just fought Austin Trout. So let me get this straight. So Edis Lara calls out Canelo for two years. Canelo has no interest in fighting him until Mexican fans start to say, why are you ducking Lara? You're a coward. You're this. You're that. That's what made him take the fight. Now, look, I give Canelo all the credit in the world for taking that fight. But the point I am simply making is the double standards that always exist. Canelo conducts someone for two years and then he fights them. All is forgiven, right? You know, it's so funny because now, even if people accuse Canelo of ducking other people like Golovkin, like D Demetrius Andre or someone like that, you know what they're going to say? Oh, Canelo, he'll fight anyone because, look, he fought Lara, right? So forget about all the other fighters he's not fighting. He already fought Lara. That's good enough for a career. That's what they're basically saying, right? Now, here's where the double standard comes in. <laughs> of course, when Floyd Mayweather has been accused of ducking Sugar Shane Mosley, and then six months later after fans accuse him of ducking Mosley, Floyd jumps in the ring, beats Mosley. Now, do we hear anyone saying, oh, you know, the good thing, you know, the good thing about Floyd is he'll fight anybody. He'll fight anybody. Do we hear that with Floyd? No, we don't hear that, right? How about Canelo? Everybody was saying Floyd was ducking Canelo. They was trying to overload my goddamn comment section telling me that Floyd is ducking Canelo. I had my kids at school. I remember... My son, he would tell me he had this uh, Mexican friend, and this was way, of course, way before the Canelo fight, but I think uh, Floyd had just beat his last opponent, and this kid kept telling my son, yeah, but he don't want to fight Canelo. Yeah, he's scared of Canelo. That's how my son would always say it. And so the point is, everyone was accusing Floyd Mayweather of ducking Canelo. What happens? Floyd Mayweather gets in the ring, beats Canelo easy. Okay, so now Floyd Mayweather should be expecting people to say, that's what I like about Floyd Mayweather. He don't duck nobody. You see how he fought Mosley and then he fought Canelo Alvarez? That's what I like about him. We don't get that, do we? Mayweather, he don't get that. Right? I wonder why. <sighs> getting tired over here, but I wonder why. I'm going to tell you right now, Canelo Alvarez is rolling up a tough-ass road. I mean, things are getting ugly for Canelo. Things are getting ugly. I mean, you got his next opponent, his next opponent, Claudie, who actually has the ability to beat Canelo Alvarez, He's fighting him next. Then, if Canelo even gets past Claudi, he's got Cotto. He's going to lose to Cotto. Okay? I'm going to tell you right now. Cotto is going to beat Canelo. All right? Cotto is going to beat Canelo. Where does Canelo go from there? Two losses on your record? Really should be three or four losses, but let's just go with the damn official. Two or three losses on your record. Might get knocked out. Where do you go from there? Is that fire to burn out? Who knows? Who knows? 
Who knows? It'll be really interesting to see what opponents they keep digging out of the goddamn grave to fight against Canelo Alvarez. I'm drowsy as fuck. I ain't talking about nothing no more. So, I will catch up with you. I'm on to the next one.